Hey everyone, welcome to Tech Altitude. I have to admit that 2020 smartphone scenario is kind of unusual. We have different smartphones this year. We have the budget smartphone coming on from Apple, that was the iPhone SE. Then we have also seen that Poco has stepped up the game with its flagship killer, the Poco F2 Pro. And OnePlus has also launched a proper flagship phones this year. And seems like everyone just wants a piece from the flagship. We have flagship mobile phones from Motorola, Sony, and even Xiaomi this year. And in the middle of all this, there are a lot of rumors about the upcoming budget smartphone that OnePlus is planning to launch on. It's called the OnePlus Z. Now, before I talk about the OnePlus Z, let me take you back in 2015 and talk about the original smartphone, the original budget smartphone that OnePlus had launched. It was the OnePlus X. And let's see if we get some clues from the OnePlus X for the upcoming OnePlus Z. The OnePlus X was OnePlus's super budget 18,000 rupees phone. It had all the things of a premium phone. We are talking about a glass design, a complete glass design that we have right now in today's smartphone that OnePlus did five years ago. And it also had a flagship processor that was kind of a year old. We have the Snapdragon 801 in this, a 5 inch AMOLED screen, a 13 megapixel camera, and you can't really ask for much in an 18,000 packet in 2015. The internet is flooded with design mockups and specifications of the upcoming OnePlus Z. Some of the specifications that I think will come true are Snapdragon 765 processor, well, it's a 5G processor, 6 to 8 gigabits of RAM, then we have a 6.4 inch AMOLED screen with a 90 hertz refresh rate. Cameras which will be directly taken over from OnePlus 8, but instead of a triple camera setup, we'll have a dual camera setup on the OnePlus Z. It will have a 48 megapixel primary sensor, then a 16 megapixel ultra wide sensor on it. Couple all that with an in display fingerprint sensor, a 4000 milliamp hour battery, warp charge, or should I say fast charging on the OnePlus. And on the top of that, the best Android 10 over Oxygen OS. And if you ask me where will the OnePlus Z fit in, I'll say it will fit into a slot of 25,000 rupees to somewhere around 30 or 32,000 rupees. See, OnePlus does this every time. Even when the launch of the OnePlus X, they had pushed the boundary with its flagship phones, the OnePlus 2. Now, there was a void which was created in the price bracket of 18 to 20,000 rupees. So they filled that up with the OnePlus X. And this time around, there's a void between 15 to 30, 35,000 price bracket to fill in. And OnePlus wants to just fill in this with the OnePlus Z. When you look at the spec sheet, Snapdragon 765 does not look good on the OnePlus Z. I mean, they did add a year old processor in the OnePlus X, the Snapdragon 801. They could have easily adjusted or they could have easily added the Snapdragon 855 on the OnePlus Z. Well, as they always say, a phone is not just about the processor. I mean, it's the combination of other things as well. If we add a flagship processor on a budget phone, then there will be less budget to add on a better display, cameras, software onto a budget smartphone. OnePlus Z will have a lot of things to like about. Like check out the display. It's a 6.4 inch AMOLED, AMOLED display with a 90 Hertz refresh rate. Then there's the camera, which is directly taken over from the flagship, a 48 megapixel sensor. You can't go wrong with the OnePlus Z. See how Apple did with its iPhone SE, the budget smartphone. We have a flagship processor in the iPhone SE fairly good cameras and the software iOS. And then iPhone SE compromises on that six year old design and that old 4.7 inch LCD 60 Hertz display. So looks like OnePlus Z is going to bring you some good things on the table. See it this way, if you are on a tight budget and you want to make a phone, now what are the things that you'll add on the phone which will be top notch or from this year? It could be your top notch processor, the best display that is available right now or the best cameras. Let's say if you have a budget of 25,000 rupees and you have to add the best things on the phone in the price bracket of 25,000 rupees. I mean, the cheaper the component goes, the bad it will be. 
So let's see if you spend 10,000 rupees on a flagship processor, then you have to fit in other things in the 15,000 rupees price bracket. You have to think about cameras, you have to think about display, you also have to think about battery software. There are a lot of things that are going into a smartphone. So compromising on little things such as the 765 processor and we are also getting other things that are fairly good like the cameras, this display, then OnePlus Z looks all in with a budget smartphone, a best budget smartphone in 2020. That will happen if the phone gets launched. As of today, by recording this video, there's no special announcement from OnePlus of any event. But as the rumors say that it will be getting launched somewhere between in 2nd of June to 14th of June. So we'll see how things goes from here. And let me know what you think about the budget smartphone. I mean, if you are on a tight budget, then what are the things that you'll add on your smartphone? For me, it will be the processor. I mean, I'll have the top notch flagship processor on the phone. Then I'll compromise something on the display. And I'll also compromise on the cameras, but it should have better batteries, USB type C, good fit and finish that's all it takes for me but if you are someone who likes cameras then you can add top-notch cameras from the pixels in your budget phone and then you have to compromise on design display it's your call what kind of budget phone you want and that's my two cents for today let me know what you think about the budget smartphone in the comment section bonus oneplus is also going to launch truly wireless earbuds i hope Hope they are not inspired by Apple's earpods with respect to design, but we'll see what they bring on the table. As always, you should also check out my other videos. The link will be in the description box, or you can click on the top right corner, the I button on the top right corner of this video. That's been it. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.